In this video, I'm going to take a look at some right triangle trig definitions. Um, these are, would be uh, introduced to you very early on uh, as soon as you begin studying right triangle trig. In order to have these definitions, um, I need a reference triangle and it needs to be a right triangle because these definitions only work with a right triangle. In that triangle, all of these definitions are based on a reference angle and technically my reference angle can be where angle A is or it could be where angle B is. So these sides, which I'm going to explain here in a minute, opposite hypotenuse adjacent, they are going to be in reference to the reference angle. Okay. Um, now, if you are in trig, then you're probably writing a lot of your definitions, a lot of your formulas, identities down. You see them written sine, cosine, tangent, and then cosecant, secant, cotangent. All right, that's done for a reason because in a lot of the identities and formulas, your sine, cosine, tangent will have some type of fractional um, formula, and then the, the cosecant, secant, and cotangent are always just reciprocals. All right, and so written in this order. Cosecant is always the reciprocal of sine, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and such as that. Now, um, to help memorize these, all right, taking the first letter, that's why I've highlighted them in yellow, taking the first letter over here creates the mnemonic SOHCAHTOA, all right, which is usually denoted in that manner, those being the first letter in each of those that I have highlighted. All right, and I wrote Sokotoa here just to help remember that. Um, I did not make that up. That's all over the internet. There's little stories about a little Indian girl and stubborn her toe and that sort of thing had soak it. Um, so if you're curious in those stories, you find it on YouTube. There will, there's some cute animated stories for that mnemonic. But let's take a look at what this opposite hypotenuse adjacent thing is. If I want the sine of theta, all right, so here's where I have sine, all right? The formula says opposite over hypotenuse, all right? Well, if this angle is right here, the side opposite would be this side right here, and then the hypotenuse of a right triangle is always that side right there. So opposite of the reference angle, all right? If I'm doing cosine theta, this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, here's my reference angle. Adjacent would be the side right next to your reference angle, and then it's adjacent over hypotenuse, hypotenuse. The hypotenuse never changes because the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle in a right triangle. And then tangent is going to be the opposite side over the adjacent side. So if I want the tangent of theta, the opposite side, so this side over the adjacent side, which would be right here. And then these three are just the reciprocals of those, as you see there. All right, so if you don't have a reference um, chart or anything of this, you don't have your, your trig identities, I would probably pause the video at this point and write those down. But here would be um, an example of just using your right triangle trig to come up with your six identities. There are six right there. All right, they might give you a right triangle. They're going to have to tell you where your reference angle is. And then in this particular case, they've given me two sides, but they've not given me the third side. So before I could do this, I would need to find this third side. If this is my uh, reference angle, then obviously this is going to be the side opposite. Um, down here, the side I'm missing is the adjacent side, and then the hypotenuse is the 29. So first step, since it is a right triangle, and I need to find the missing side of that right triangle, I can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so um, let's just put find missing side. Because we've got to do that before we can do anything with our trig identities. All right, so that's going to be um, 21 squared plus... Our missing side here, we could just say is b squared, all right, equals 29 squared. So grabbing the calculator, squaring out this number, you're going to get 441 plus b squared is equal to squaring 29, you're going to get 841. If I subtract 441 from both sides, b squared is equal to 400, all right, and then technically when I take the square root of both sides, I would have plus or minus a 20 right there, taking the square root of 400, except I want a side of a triangle, so I know it can't be a negative dimension, so I would have to throw out that negative 20. So my missing side there, let's go ahead and put that on there, is going to be 20. 
Okay, now having all three of those sides, then now I can take a look at those trig identities and go through and find each one of them. Okay, so let's just start here with sine of theta. All right, by definition, it's opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and write opposite over hypotenuse just to kind of help me remember that. Now, in reference to this triangle, the side opposite is 21, the, side, the hypotenuse is 29. So 21 over 29. If it could be reduced, we would reduce to lowest terms, but otherwise we just leave it like that. If I'm looking for the cosine of theta, by definition, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm gonna write down A over H. Okay, let's go ahead and make that capital H. All right, so here's my reference angle. The adjacent side would be the one right next to it, so it's the 20, and the hypotenuse is still 29. Again, if I could reduce that, I would reduce it. Okay, but since it can't, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Tangent theta coming over here is opposite over adjacent, so I'm gonna go O over A, opposite over adjacent. All right, again, reference angle opposite opposite that reference angle is 21 and then adjacent to that is 20. all right now if i could reduce this to lowest terms i would i cannot though because 21 over 20 is in lowest terms i do not want to turn that into a mixed number because i want to be able to see this opposite over adjacent where was my opposite number what was my adjacent number so we're just going to leave it like that now, since these three are reciprocals of these, if you are sure that you have not made a mistake, then you could just flip each one of these. All right. Um, if not, you could go through and do hypotenuse over opposite, hypotenuse over adjacent, and you're going to get the same thing. So, cosecant of theta, I'm just going to flip it because I'm pretty sure I did not make a mistake. The secant of theta then, I'm just going to take the reciprocal, 29 over 20, and then cotangent, again taking the reciprocal, 20 over 21. Okay, now again, these two are improper fractions, and that's fine. We want to leave them uh, generally in when you're dealing with the right triangle trig. So, a just a beginning introductory video of what the formulas are, where the reference angle, and how you would go about finding your six trig identities when given a right triangle. So very beginning early on stuff that you would learn in right triangle trig. Uh, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.